basic idea of the triarchic theory is that people who are intelligent know what they do well, and then they make the most of it in their life. They somehow incorporate it in their lives and use it. They figure out what they don't do well, their weaknesses, and then they find ways around that. I um, believe that one of my strengths is that I know what it is that I don't know and I try to use the resources around me. Um, many of the people that work with me, for example, have skills in particular areas that are much stronger than mine and, and I enjoy that because I, I know that I can, can go to that individual and ask a question about something that I don't know too much about. The triarchic theory focuses on three critical areas, analytical ability, creative intelligence, and practical intelligence. Analytical intelligence is what you use when you analyze things like problems. So for example, you analyze a mathematics problem. Or you might compare and contrast two systems of government. Or you might critique something like, critique a concert. What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Why? But the basic idea is this sort of critical thinking that you do. Practical intelligence is what you use when you put into practice your abilities. So for example, you learn something in a math class and you use it in doing your income taxes. Or you might implement something like you or someone else has come up with a plan. And it's one thing to have the plan, but can you really make it work? Creative intelligence is what you use when you come up with good new ideas. So you might create a poem, or you might create a work of art, or you might create a relationship with somebody, or imagine what it would be like uh, if temperatures in the world increased 20 degrees all of a sudden. What would be the effects? So what's common to all these things is thinking in relatively novel ways rather than familiar ways.